Qingyang Duong, the revolutionary monarch who introduced machine-made coins in Cambodia. Explore the revolutionary contributions of Qingyang Duong, who ruled Cambodia in the 19th century and introduced machine-made coins, transforming the nation's economy and fostering unity. Learn about the innovative Cambodian Tikal, its regional significance, and how King Ang Duong's visionary leadership continues to impact modern Cambodia. King Ang Duong, who ruled Cambodia during two separate periods, 1841 to 1844 and 1845 to 1860, is remembered not only for his efforts to unite and revitalize the nation, but also for his groundbreaking introduction of machine-made coins in the country. This significant development in the Cambodian economy marked a new era for the kingdom, which had long suffered from centuries of royal descent and decline. Pioneering the Cambodian Tikal In the 1850s, King Ang Duong issued the first machine-made coins in Cambodia, known as the Cambodian Tikal. This innovative currency was divisible into 8 Fuang and 64 ATT, and its introduction demonstrated the king's ability to manage the nation's economy despite the constant threat of attacks from neighboring countries. Archaeological evidence of this period includes a region called Pum Kling Prak Coin Warehouse Village in the capital of Odong, where a metal casting mold was discovered. Researchers have concluded that this area was the location of the mint where the coins were produced. These coins were made from various types of metals, including valuable metals like silver and gold, while neighboring countries used regular metals like zinc and copper. A valuable currency in the region. When the French colonized Indochina, they recognized that Cambodia had the most valuable currency in the region due to the precious metals used in the production of the coins. This fact highlights King Ang Duong's foresight in creating a strong economy for his kingdom, which would later play a crucial role in establishing an alliance with colonial France. A legacy of national unity and identity. King Ang Duong's politics focused on maintaining national unity and identity while minimizing foreign interference. He issued the first substantial revision of the legal codex in centuries and encouraged religious and cultural reforms. Faced with increasing Siamese and Vietnamese encroachment, he sought to establish an alliance with colonial France on a sovereign basis. Although this alliance ultimately led to the 90-year period of the French Protectorate of Cambodia, King Ang Duong's actions laid the foundation for the modern United States of Cambodia. He was the progenitor of the two main royal houses of Cambodia, the houses of Noradam and Sisawarth. A lasting impact Cambodia's growth and development in recent years can be attributed to its rich history, particularly the leadership of King Ang Duong, who ruled during the 19th century. As a visionary monarch, he introduced the first machine-made coins, known as the Cambodian Tikal, which played a crucial role in strengthening the nation's economy. This valuable currency, made from precious metals, set Cambodia apart from its neighbors and attracted the attention of colonial powers like France. King Ang Duong's focus on national unity and identity, along with his efforts to minimize foreign interference, 
laid the foundation for a united modern Cambodia. He implemented significant legal reforms, encouraged cultural and religious revitalization, and sought strategic alliances to protect the kingdom from encroachment by neighboring countries. The legacy of King Ang Duong's innovative leadership, artistic contributions, and promotion of national unity continues to inspire modern Cambodians. Today, the country is building on its strong historical foundation to foster economic growth, cultural preservation, and a sense of national pride. This rich history serves as a guiding force for Cambodia as it continues to progress and establish itself as a thriving nation in the region.